In Genesis 28, we find Jacob being sent away from Canaan. Well, he's actually fleeing Canaan. He's tricked his father Isaac, stole his brother Esau's blessing, and Esau is plotting revenge in the worst kind of way. We're told when Jacob laid down to rest, he dreams of a stairway to heaven. This stairway, unlike the one in Led Zeppelin's song, communicated the promise of God. Listen to the description beginning in verse 10. As he slept, speaking of Jacob, he dreamed of a stairway that reached from the earth up to heaven. And he saw the angels of God going up and down the stairway. At the top of the stairway stood the Lord. And he said, I am the Lord, the God of your grandfather Abraham and the God of your father Isaac. The ground you are lying on belongs to you. I am giving it to you and your descendants. Your descendants will be as numerous as the dust of the earth. Jacob responds to his dream by making a vow to the Lord, even setting up a memorial to commemorate the Lord's promise. But it's clear by the wording of his vow that Jacob didn't completely trust God, in spite of this amazing experience and vision. The story I call Jacob's Ladder in Scripture serves to remind us how much easier our lives would be if we simply trusted and obeyed in the promises of God. Jacob eventually wrestled with God and received a bum hip in the process. It was only then that he received his full blessing and all that God had for him. The good news is, you and I don't have to wrestle with God today. His promises and blessings are written down for us in his word. And like Jacob, our lives, your life and mine, will be so much easier if we simply trust and obey. Thank you.